pineapple, spinach, roasted garlic, pineapples. Did I say pineapples? Mm -hmm. Pineapples. Mm, I have the pineapples in mine. Dummy. Definitely not. This piece of Boston right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna finish it though. I am. What's, What's good, good guys? guys? Back, Back with, with another, another video. video. Alright guys, we're gonna go on a bike ride. We have not been doing anything because Zachary's a bum, but it's okay. That is not true. We're gonna go on that a bike ride. That is not true. I'm not a bum. The reason why I've, all right, I'm bum right now, but the reason is that because I hurt my knee, guys. And I don't know if I just twisted it or if I tore my ACL again, but I hurt my knee. I'm not a bum. You're a bum. You're a bum. You're a bum. You're a potato bum. Cross you up. Yeah, you wanna play some baseball? All right, guys, if you guys didn't know, T is actually really, really, really good at baseball. <laughs> actually, in high school, she was a D1 prospect for softball. Shut up! So, actually, you see that hoodie that she's wearing right now? NYU. She's actually the team captain of her NYU <laughs> softball team. So, she's gonna, so right now, Stop right now, she's going to show you guys Stop how to this. properly throw a baseball or a softball. Whichever one she decides, because she could do both, you know? She could do everything, too. Oh, it's you, Molly. We like that. I don't play. You play. I don't play. play. I don't know. I'm actually afraid of it. <laughs> D1 prospect. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> funny. Funny. What's up? Open him. No. Yes. You hurt me. Doesn't hurt you. <laughs> You wanna play soccer? No! What? Maybe volleyball? Can we just go for a bike ride? Fine. So if you guys didn't know, Teresa is actually a <laughs> Good. Uh, we just rode around every single park, just see what's up, see what's, see who's outside. Uh, it was fun. Got a little sweat in. That's why we're wearing our hoodies so we could sweat more, Facts. and because we fat. Handicap man, getting some shots up. Hey, still got it. But you're only two feet away. That's why. <laughs> if I make this shot, you guys have to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and T has to buy me ice cream. No. Ice cream. Halo top. Halo top. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, if I make this shot right, this one. Hey! Gosh. What is getting you tight, Zachary? Duh. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> Can't dark. see you. Hey, Zachary. Why is our video on community guidelines? I wasn't even shaking my ass. <laughs> I was just shoving things on my. You were what? Nothing. You were what? Nothing. Why is my video on community guidelines, huh? Why? Tell me. Did you guys report it? I did. Small. Hey yo. Because he said that one day we'll leave this world behind. So you live a life you will remember. It's so dark. <laughs> is it recording now? Is it recording? It is recording. Hello, crazy. What's good, guys? Back with another video. The fan is on. You my eyes red? Okay, talk about it. Talk. Because I have allergies. I rub it. I feel like there's something on your lens. I feel like there's something on my lens too. Alright guys, I'm supposed to talk about what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> Do the video now. Where are we going? I work at the <laughs> bank. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we're getting Blaze Pizza. Blaze Pizza for the win. LeBron, the goat. Italian sausage and bacon. Do pineapples belong on pizza? No. Better get pineapples. <laughs> pineapples, please. 
Garlic. What you got there? Blaze Pizza. <laughs> Shout out to the Blaze Pizza worker. We didn't get her name. We saw. I know. I forgot to ask. Dang. But yo, she knows where fat ass is. She follows us on Hoops and Food. She gave us free, she gave us free cookies. And Why? Stars. Why'd you do that? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that we're not happy about it. She wants to feed into the fat assness. <laughs> even though we're trying to be on a diet. Because I'm super happy about it. But Super happy, super blessed. I'm eating it. Screw it. I'm eating it. <laughs> fate. It was fate. She knew we were coming to Blaze Pizza. She was like, let me give these guys some cookies. They need it. <laughs> so we have to eat the cookies now. We have Not to. our fault. We didn't order it. It was we fate. We have to. It was fate. Not us. It was fate. But we got a side of arugula because we're being healthy, huh? Okay, bye. <laughs> Blaze Pizza. Let's eat. I'm starving. 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 Build your own Blaze Pizza. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Oh, now you're waiting for me. Hold it. What the hell? Where are you from? California? Ready? Go. In the spot. Unlimited toppings. What? One vegan ghost pepper. Is it meatball. vegan? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this right here. Because I'm kind of scared. I don't know if I'm going to eat it yet. I'm going to wait to the end. I don't want to eat it and then get like super spicy and then I don't want to eat it. You want I got everything. I got chicken, bacon, Italian sausage, um, smoked ham, pineapple, spinach, roasted garlic, pineapples. Did I say pineapples? Mm -hmm. Pineapples. Mmm, I have no pineapples in mine. Dummy. Definitely not. <laughs> Look, a distraction. <laughs> Stop. Right. I have one pineapple. Oh, for the sauce, I got their regular red sauce mixed with spicy. Perfect. And then you get pesto on the crust. That's mm -hmm. the way to go. You didn't do that though, right? You just got regular. Uh -huh. Yo, shout out to all the Blaze Pizza workers because y'all are super nice, super cool. Bye. Yeah, chill. They make some banging pizzas. Wow. All right, guys, every mm -hmm. thing we have, we always like to talk about something, right? So we're gonna talk about two things that we were talking about on our way back from Blaze Pizza. The first thing is how to treat people who are treating you, meaning who are serving you. Who are serving you. So like your servers, your your waiters, your waitresses, your restaurant workers, anyone who's in working at McDonald's, anywhere. Just be nice to people. So that's one thing we're gonna talk about. And then the second thing we're going to talk about is how our series is going because, like I said before and you guys saw, I hurt my knee like an idiot. So those are the two things that we're going to talk about. So, on our drive back, we were saying, like, it goes a long way just being nice to somebody. And it's not hard to be nice to someone. You know, we've seen assholes that just look like, why? Like, why are you being a dickhead? Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. And I've never had the experience of working at a restaurant or at a fast food place or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But Zach has, so he'll share your, his experience with you guys on that. Yeah, so in my past, I've worked at a couple of retail spots and restaurants. So I've worked at um, the supermarket, I worked at an ice cream shop, and I worked at IHOP. So I've worked at a couple of places of retail. And the thing that I will say right away is whenever there's a bad customer or a rude customer or someone that just woke up and chose violence, right? It can really ruin the whole day for the worker. Meaning, let's say T comes into IHOP and she she's ordering and she's being a real jerk, right? It's literally gonna ruin my whole shift because why are you doing that for? Like, why are you trying to be so mean? Why are you trying to be difficult? I'm not saying you can't order what you want, but you can just be polite and like the tone of your voice, like, hey, can I please get, um, like, excuse me, can I please get uh, an extra water? Or, excuse me, um, can I please get like extra coffee? Or sorry, like, hey, you forgot to bring syrup from my table. Can you please, can I please get some more? Like just being like saying something so, like saying something sincere and being nice about it really goes a long way. As opposed to, yo, you brought the pancakes over and I didn't get no syrup. What you gonna do about it? Like, or like, excuse me, like, yo, these, these eggs are not cooked enough. Bring it back. 
And like it sounds like it sounds ridiculous, but people are actually like that. Or I'll give a Blaze Pizza example. Teresa's putting on spinach on my pizza, and I'm gonna reply, "I want more. I want more. I want more spinach. Put more spinach on. Why are you guys so cheap? That's all the pepperoni you're gonna put on my pizza? Yo, give me some more pepperoni." As opposed to, "Hey, hey, um, do you think I can get some more spinach on my pizza, please?" Or, um. Can I get another um, couple slices of, of ham, please? You didn't put enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't go, it's not that hard to be nice to somebody. And I don't, I can go on about this for hours and hours and hours because I've dealt with so many, mm, like you just want to punch them in the face, but you just can't. So, yeah. so I'm a, I'm a counter argue it, not saying I believe it, but just to have like a conversation going. Mm -hmm. Like you chose to be there, you know? Like you chose to work this minimum wage job. <laughs> You know, it's been a job. No, she's right. So that's, so that's what you get. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm just, like, yeah. I guess, I don't know. Um, like McDonald's drive through because we have a lot of experience with McDonald's drive through right? Mm -hmm. Like. No, yeah, I see what you're saying. You, you chose to be there, why, yeah. you know. You're right. Yeah. And, and all the people who work in those jobs, they definitely chose to be there. Mm -hmm. So now let's say you work at, at, um, at a nice bank. You're making like a good salary, not a minimum wage job, right? You're at a bank, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm one of the customers, mm -hmm. and you're busy dealing with another customer. And I just go up to you and say, "Yo, I've been waiting here for 40 minutes. When's the next teller open?" Just because you make more money doesn't mean we need to treat you differently. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. I know you're just doing for the counter argument, but I'm yeah. arguing as your counter right, argument. Right, right. My argument, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, just because someone works in a fast food restaurant or they work in Target doesn't mean you treat them any different. Yeah. In fact, you should be treating them nicer because. They work there like hey like hey like just try to lighten their mood like i know i know what it's like it sucks you work a minimum wage job you're getting overworked sometimes especially as a server you're getting overworked like i get it it sucks that's mm -hmm. why you got to be nicest to those people and those people who are serving your food a simple ew can like like you think i'm joking like i i don't do that but i've i know for a fact there are there are people if you're a jerk some they will spit in your food they will they won't maybe they won't spit in your food but they won't treat your food the best. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Just treat people with respect and be nice to them, especially when it comes to fast food workers, when it comes to restaurant servers, anybody in retail. I get that. Like, that's what I want to talk about. You also don't know like what's going on in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. They could have be having like a really bad day, and mm -hmm. you know your experience or their experience with you serving you or whatever it is could make or break their day like that could be the last thing that set them off or that could be the thing that changes their the whole day like, oh yeah i agree and it goes the same way too sometimes the workers there aren't the nicest yeah and when the workers aren't the nicest i get it being an asshole back because i do the same thing too um sometimes and like if there's a if there's like a mcdonald's worker who gives me mad attitude when i'm super nice like i just match the energy Whenever I go to like McDonald's or anything, I, I'm always super energetic. I'm like, hey, like, how's it going? Can I please get this? And if they're just like, all right, what you want next? I'm gonna be like, all right, let me get this next. Like, I'm not gonna be super, super nice if they're being an asshole back to me. Yeah. I mean, it's just mutual respect, but I don't know. It's a touchy subject. What about tipping wise? Hmm? Tipping. Hmm. If it's a really good server. So, like, Zach, when we first started dating, he didn't really tip like that when we went out. Like, like 15%. But I also had no money. Like, right, right. I was a broke boy. Yeah. I'm still a broke boy. <laughs> still a broke boy. <laughs> um, but now, like, because he's been working at IHOP. As a server. Right. Like, he knows what it's like. So, like, if it's a, a good server that goes out of their way to make our experience good, he'll, he'll tip more than 20, 25%. And I feel like. A lot of people should do the same if you can, if you're able to, you know? I mean, we're not saying you gotta break your bank account just right. to tip somebody. But it goes a long way, them, you know, and trying you gotta to keep your mind too. Good. Like I saw this on, I saw this video on TikTok of a server talking. And she was like, if you don't if you can't tip well, don't go out to eat. Like don't go out to like a like a nice place. Like I mean I'm not trying to be like a dick or anything, but like that's just how it is. I mean, because servers don't make money. The only way they make money is through tips. Don't they get a base wage? Very little. Four dollars, three dollars. Yeah. 
I mean, because my parents own a restaurant, I've always been in that restaurant field industry. So like I've always tipped, my parents always taught me to tip. It used to be growing up like 15%, now it's always 20 no matter what. Mm -hmm. I guess if it's a really, really bad server. Oh, forget it. Yo, if it's a bad server and I know it's a bad server, like I'm not going to be mad if the food's taking a long time because it's not the server's fault. But if the server is rude and they're like, ah, what drinks you want to get? Like we've been to a pho place where the pho is so good that they don't care about the service. Like, they literally come to the table, they don't even say what you want, they just have the, the notepad out and tell them. But I get it, that's like their style of serving, so like, obviously we're not going to tip the same. So, mm -hmm. that's why I just wanted to add that in. Yeah. What you were saying? No, I'm just... Even if it's bad serving, I'll still tip. Yeah. Just not really generously. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, it's still just... tip. It's just not going to tip above and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I've just never like thought about so much of your side, like the serving side. Like, mm -hmm. why is the food taking so long? You know. Mm -hmm. And then like you know you should you should share your experience like like what what's happening like right. So I go into IHOP. Mm -hmm. I want my eggs super dry, scrambled super dry, and they're wet. So I'm bringing like, hey, my eggs are wet. Like, can you what do you have to do? So like, what's your process? Mm -hmm. So like one of the main reasons why, at least in a fast food restaurant from IHOP, I can speak from experience. So, when the food's taking a long time, there's so many things that can go into consideration. The first thing at IHOP is because there's tons of to-go orders, meaning there's people with dining in and there's to-go orders. So there's like constant mix matching of food. So that's one thing. The other thing too is that every restaurant is, they have to prep the food. Like all the food you're eating is prepped. Meaning, like the salad that they, the lettuce, the spinach that they put on here, they have to put that into a container so they can serve it. Same thing when it comes to cooking. They need, the cooks need to prepare and prep all the food so they're ready to prepare more. Meaning, you could order at a bad time when the cooks are like, all right, we need to prep more food for the long run. Let's say you're eating at five o'clock and the dinner rushes at eight o'clock. If you order at five o'clock, there can only be one chef cooking while the other cooks are just prepping food so now there's only one cook. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many different things that go into it and you just don't realize that being a customer. But if you get into the food industry, you'll understand more. You'll understand that like, oh, I right now, the, the head chef is doing temperatures. Meaning he needs to make sure, if the health inspector comes, you have to make sure all the meat is at the right temperature. You gotta make sure the eggs are at the right temperature. You gotta make sure the grill's at the right temperature. So there's just so many things that go into it that just the regular customer just doesn't see. I'm not saying like I'm a restaurant expert, by no means am I that, but I, like, I'm like i starting to see more of that side. So like, I, I, like when my food takes a long time, I'll ask like, hey, like why is the food taking so long? And then like, that's it. Like you don't gotta be a dick about it and be like, yo, our food's taking so long. Oh, this is ridiculous. You guys are a fast food chain. You guys need to do better. Like, yeah. You know how many times I got that at IHOP? Like some old ass person's like, oh, you guys are IHOP. You guys need to do better. Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. Yeah. <laughs> Good piece of Boston right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna finish it though. I am. I know. Sorry for that rant, guys. I just wanted to talk a piece in my mind. Talk about what we talk about in our cars, daily walks, because you know, I was working at IHOP for a while and some of these customers are not the nicest people. So if after watching this, just whenever you guys go out, just go out of your way to be nice. That's just what I'm saying. Just be nice. Just be a nice person. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna save the pizza for later. Okay. Alright. Babe, keep asking me nothing. Yeah. Here. Yo, no, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! What? I'm saving it for later. No, okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Just get one bite. No, Zach, you're one way my whole slice. Right, right, I saved half for later. I ate half now, half yeah, for later. Just one you still have a slice left? No. I'm so hungry. Zach. Mm. <sighs> don't give me back this petty bite. I don't want it. Look at this. Are you serious? I was saving it for later, Zach. Here, you So, moving along to the topic of his knee. Um, we haven't really been working out like that. And then, I think last Wednesday, we, went, we walked to the park and we saw people playing. And it was like a lot of old heads. We're like, yo, this is more our pace. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we haven't been playing, we've been working out. Let's play. So, he was like, 
He was like, you decide, T, like, if you want to play opt out. I, was I like, told her, I was like, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, and I was like, damn, I don't know if I'm feeling it either, but I kind of want to play, like, I want to, you know, burn some calories so we can eat later. So I was like, well, let's just go back. So we went back to my place, grabbed shoes, and then we drove there. Um, so we got next, we waited like 15, 20 minutes for next. So we're running fulls. And then you were kind of go going at it with like some kid. Not really. Not, not like crazy, but like y'all were like talking a little bit. He was talking. He was talking. He was like, oh, you bum ass, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Came down, shot three in his face. Am I wrong? He scored two. He scored an open layups. Where he every time he got the ball from me, I stole the ball from him. He had a few under the basket. He's like six four, six three, whatever. Ball my ass and it's warm. I saw the entry pass from him twice. Okay. Look at you, you're the one that's hurt. <laughs> Gosh. You right. So mm. We were playing, and then halfway, he's like, yo, T, my knee's bugging. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, it hurts. I was like, chill out. And he still played like a play after, like he jogged. He's like, yo, I'm done, I can't. He sat, you got a replacement. And then ever since that, like, his knee was locked up. I, I don't know what it is. He says he think he tore something. I think maybe just a sprain, but I don't really know his pain tolerance or how his knee is. Hopefully it's just a sprain and it'll be good in a few weeks, but hopefully no surgery, you know, all that. Um, you have your MRI. He has an MRI tomorrow. I'm getting my doctor's appointment tomorrow. Oh, no, so not MRI? Mm -hmm. So I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'll find out. Yeah. But yeah, so in terms of the series, what that means for us, mm -hmm. because we were playing a lot of basketball. Yeah, a good amount. Once, yeah. twice a week, night mm -hmm. even though. So honestly, right now, because of my knee, it's not going to be as much basketball focused now until I heal up. But we're still going to be working out, still going to try to be active, still eat, obviously. But yeah, just try to, still try to like find balance of working out, eating out still, but trying to be in shape, find balance, exactly. Yeah. Like this. We have a lot of plans for the summer, so hopefully this doesn't interfere with that, but. You know, last it's okay. You still have your clothes back on you. Do you mm -hmm. want it? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's good. Spicy. I don't want to keep this box. I'm done. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna eat the dessert. Mm. I'm gonna eat it like halfway. No, I'm gonna save it for later for real. It's a perfect meal. You shouldn't be eating like that either. Okay, you're right. Thank you all the wishes with your metal straw. Same as turtle. Even though it's a plastic cup. The Blaze Pizza Worker gave us free s'more pie and a free chocolate chip cookie. Stop that. I want to take a bite. Let me get a bite. No. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it First too. time trying. Me too. No. <laughs> Come on. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> I'm going to bite. Oh my God. Why have you never gotten this bread from Blake Pizza? No, no, let's try. Mm-mm. I'm saving this after. I'm saving you. You don't want this. Put it in the back. I want it. You don't want I it. I want it. You don't want it. One bite. Like I'm doing you a favor, I'm serious. Alright, let me live by karaoke for you. Okay. Step from one to ten, I'll live good with it. Eight point five. Nine. Not? <gasps> Churro? Yeah. Churro. Yeah, now that was pretty good that I picked the, the cookie. It's not crunchy, it's like chewy. Chocolate chip cookie. That we're gonna share. No. I'll take this part right here. Okay, now I get that. Better than Subway? For sure. Throw it out. I don't feel afraid. Was it good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is food so good? Shout out to Blaze Pizza. Shout out to Blaze Pizza. Wow, that's really good. Okay, one more. One more bite. Oh, so yeah, so we can't 
really run or anything. I mean, I can, but I don't really want to. I mean, I'll go at night for a run. So sit on the field, but. Not for time. Yeah. But we'll try to bike more. Try to bike every day. Cause yeah, so that's another form of exercise that we're going to be trying to do Cardio. more. Is biking because it's not there's no stress on my knee. So that's going to be good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoy biking too. How's it cooking? Mm -hmm. Can I get a bite? Mm -mm. Zach, if you eat the bite, you eat the whole thing. I know you will. And we've been seeing a lot of you guys when we bike, which is cool. Okay. okay, that's it. So yeah, guys, that is the end of the mukbang. No more pizza. I didn't finish my food, but I'm not trying to. Don't worry, I'll eat it later. No, you won't. I'll save it for I'll, later. I'll, I'll eat it later. Or tomorrow. I'll eat it later. No. Um, That's it. But yeah, just, you know, keeping it casual again. I don't know, guys. I really enjoy eating and talking to you guys. Like, something that I really personally want to do is a podcast. Um, I don't know if you guys would watch it or not, but that's something that I would be interested in doing. I just like to talk a lot. I like to ramble. I like to spread my ideas, spread my peace of mind. So, that's something you guys can look forward to in the near future. A wink. A wink. Alright, we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, I don't know. But after this... What was I going to say? Oh yeah. But after this, we're just going to hang out for the rest of the day, probably watch a movie or something. And then at night, we're gonna go to the field. She's gonna run, work out a little bit. I'm gonna go outside, hang out for a little bit. Stretch a little bit? I'll probably stretch, walk around. Yeah. See you guys there. Peace! Yo! <laughs> you're moving pretty fast. I know your knee feels better. You're in a better It does, it does feel better. better. All right, guys. It is about 10 o'clock right now. And me and T are about to go to the park. She's gonna run around, do some stretching, jogging. I'm gonna go for moral support, hang out, probably mess around, joke around, cut her ass a little bit. Um, but right now, I'm drinking this green smoothie from Sobel. Um, what's in it, I don't know. Probably some spinach, probably some other green stuff, but let's take a sip. Mmm, mmm, so good. It actually is really good, guys. But we're gonna go to the park now and bring you guys along. All right, guys, we're back from the park now. Um, time to just go home, chill, relax, wind down for the rest of the night. I personally didn't do any exercise on the field, but T did. She did some running. She was super exhausted. Um, but this is the end of the video. Um, if you guys made it to this point of the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. And look who it is. It's T. Wait, you remember that? You know that trend? What? Okay, bye, 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 bye. Say bye, say bye. Count safe.